Right, Shalom. This is GMS New Orleans coming at you with another uh, quick lesson. As we always do, we want to give it infinite honors and infinite prayers to Yahweh, 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 once again to the elders, apostles of GMS. Peace and blessings and salutations once again to the hopeful elect. All right. And this uh, video is, is, is getting into uh, whatsoever thy hands find to do, do it with all thy might. All right. And that's what we. Uh, definitely have to come into this truth and, and understanding it. You know, this is something dedicated to the to those young, young brothers that's out there. All right, all right. When you when you a young man and it's coming up in this truth, everything that you do has to be taken with seriousness. You know, a serious a serious mindset towards. All right. If you a brother that's uh, newly, all right, introduced into the, into the camp, you might be a brother that's holding post. That's a serious position to hold. All right. You're looking at you're looking at the well-being of other brothers that's not paying attention. Right, with people coming up, all right, people nearby the camp, right? The the cameraman is a serious position, all right. You got to do it. You got to put your all into it, man. All right, the truth as a whole, you got to put your all into it. All right, you're 144 percent. All right, the speaker, the reader, all these all these people, all these brothers that uh hold on those different positions at that particular time, it, it's a serious thing, man. All right, now start me off with that one. Okay. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Mm -hmm. You put your all into it, man. Put your, your whole your whole strength into it. All right? Go ahead. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave. All right, so if the Lord was to call you right now, you, you can say that, hey, I, did, I, I put my all into this, man. That I ain't leave nothing back. All right? Damn, I wish I would have did this. I wish I would have did that. All right. I wish I would have, you know, whatever, whatever that may be in the ministry. You, you can say that, you know, you left off by doing, putting your all into it, man. I wasn't a half-ass camera guy. I wasn't a half-ass uh, sign, a, a sign holder. All right. If I could say. Go ahead. And you should be in the spirit as I, I didn't even do enough. I got to do more. Mm -hmm. There's a brother that had a vision where he went to the spirit world. And he was in front of Yahweh and the only thing he could be thinking is, please send me back down because I didn't do enough. Right. And that's how you got to be, man. You got to be, uh, you know, you got to be, uh, your heart got to be really uh, driven towards this truth, man. All right. You in the, you in the ministry, in the church, you should want to, you should want to do more within the church, more with brothers. All right. Brothers having to, you know, brothers having to get together. You know, you, you, you shouldn't be, uh, what you said before, all right, closed-fisted, man. You should, you <laughs> tight fisted. Should, tight fisted, man. <laughs> you should be one, you should be one to put more of an effort with whatever, giving on with bread, effort, you know, uh, feeding brothers, you, you name it, man. All right? That, that's, that, there's a, a, a way of, all right, uh, what to say, giving alms is turning back, uh, Deliver from rice, deliver, deliver from give sin. Alms, or something deliver, like that. Deliver from death. Yeah. <clears throat> so you 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 can you you put you putting in the work, man. That's a part of putting in work too. That was it. I got to have a little more. Okay. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. Yeah. All right. You can, like I said, the Lord was to, if the Lord was to take the ghost out of you right now, man. You can say I put my all into it. I, I did a, I did a, I did a, a, a valiant work, right, for the ministry, man, for the for the, the bringing in the elect. All right. You ran your race. That's right. Okay. You said you had some. Con. Yeah. Go ahead. This uh, Psalm 63 and 8. I'm gonna start at seven because Thou has been my help. Mm -hmm. Therefore, in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. This is the point. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me. Which one that was? Psalm 63 and 8. Okay. Yeah. It says, I'm going to read it again for you. My soul followeth hard after thee. Yeah. And that was uh, David, right? David, yes. That's what David saying. He Psalm went hard. He went hard for the Lord. The Lord said so. so much. The Lord <laughs> stamped it. The Lord said, I find David at a man after, after my own heart, heart man. So that tell you how hard David was going for the yeah. ministry, man, for your heart by shot. You gotta be in the same like manner. Mm -hmm. Right? You see, you see certain things. Well, brothers, okay, the brother, the brother Garmin told, hey, I'm gonna go get the brother Garmin. You know what I'm saying? Cause you want you this 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 is our this this truth is for us, man. You want everything to be looking good, man. That's right. 
All right? Everything has to be up here. You going hard. Not only are you going hard for the ministry or for yourself, you're going hard for brothers too. All right? You're going hard for the Lord, man. Uh, look at that second Timothy. I got it. Yeah, bring that second Timothy up. Well, yeah, bring that second Timothy up. Because it's just a point showing that Paul, Paul gave it his all, man. Yep. This okay. uh first, I mean Second Timothy four. I'm gonna start up at five. Right? And I says, but watch thou in all things and do afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Mm -hmm. Make full proof of thy ministry. Making what? Full proof of thy ministry. For the ministry. And give me that. What it says for full proof. Whenever you get a chance. Yeah. I'm get it. All right. Okay. It says, but watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, mm -hmm. do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. Mike, that word full proof right there. Hey, hey. Yep. Hey, make full proof. It says, Strong's G, 4135, play Rafael. <laughs> play Rafael. It says, to bear or bring full, to make full. To fulfill the ministry in every part. Every aspect, man. Every part. All right? <clears throat> to the well-being of brothers. To the well-being of everything, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta put your all into it, man. And Paul did that. All right, yes. Paul, Paul, Paul wasn't boasting, but Paul was like, Paul was telling you, man. Go ahead. It says to be persuaded. You know what words they go get for that, right? Romans 14. That every man be persuaded. Yeah. yeah. It says to make one certain, to persuade, to convince one. Mm -hmm. Right? Persuade, most surely believe. Ooh. Make full proof of and evidence. Yeah. Make proof of by evidence. Yeah. Heavy. <clears throat> yeah, I got this one to back that up. This is Colossians 3 and 23. All right. I might go to 22. 22, it says service obey all... Servants obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as man pleases, but single singleness of heart, fearing the most high. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily. All right, as to the Lord, huh? Yeah, no, I won't speak on it. Okay. Yeah, it says uh heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Right, so the brother said uh do it single heartily, which if we keep our eyes single, when you go in that word, uh, uh, keeping your eyes single, it basically means to to fully fulfill the apostolic office. Mm -hmm. To basically what? Do all your work that's assigned to you in your office, man. Right. Or your, or your you know, your position in the truth. That's it, brother. That's right. I want to bring out. Keeping yeah, your eyes single. And you you going and you doing it to the to the fullest, man. To the fullest, yep. You're not half-assing. You're not uh, lackluster in the, in this truth, man. All right. Everything, everything is is taken to the point you putting your all in your in a, in, a, in, a, in a, I mean, a whole lot of effort into it, man. All right. Seeing them as a part, yeah. Like I, I said, cause everything, uh, er, all all the positions that you might you might uh, things you might be asked of, it's it's a, it's a serious thing, man. It's, it's nothing to take take for granted. All right. I got, I got two more verses. Okay, I gotta get this other one. Second Timothy 4 and 7. Mm -hmm. I have fought, well, six. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Con, like the brother said, finishing is the ultimate thing, right? The only way we can get a crown is if we finish. We ought to, you know, do the work in full that we leave nothing undone. Yeah. And it, Works too far. and it, this brother played yeah. football. What was the whole motto of football? Leave it what? All on, on the, the field. field. Yeah. Everything happens what? Between the lines, man. Yeah. Because when you get off the field, you don't understand what you've done until you retire. Yeah. Most men, while they're in the midst of it, they don't understand what history they making. Yeah, they have to be told of it. Records they broken. But when they do finish and get back and could be able to look back on it they was like what i put that work in man yeah and i gave and it my all and like the scripture says others are gonna say that you've been doing it man yep all right same thing you know we give uh double honors to the apostles they put that work in and still doing it right 
still doing it, man. Uh, let me see. Might if I get one real quick? Yeah, go ahead. This is a Ciroc 44 and 8. There be of them that have left the name behind them mm -hmm. that their praises might be reported. Yeah. And, that's, and, that, and Lord will, we get that in the kingdom that, that our praises be reported, man. Ooh. Ooh. All right. And it's 44. It's up there. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to jump to verse Slide. 1. Let us now praise famous men Ooh. and our fathers that beget us. Do, yeah, do this yeah, do it all the time. Do, oh. do this shit every time you out here, man. Go ahead. Let us now praise famous men and our fathers that beget us. The Lord hath wrought great glory by them through his great power from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, and Lord will we those men. We those those men those men, all right, that was from the beginning of the creation of things that have come back in our rightful lots, man. To 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 do Ooh. what? To receive Really, ultimate to receive the praise for doing his work, man. And we're gonna get the praise ultimately in the kingdom, not here. You can't get you can't get praise and fame here, man. All right, you get corrupted. Mm -hmm. All right, you get defiled. So the only place that that that, that can happen is where in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Verse three: Such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, mm -hmm. giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies leaders of the people by their counsels and by their knowledge of learning meet for the people right. wise and eloquent in their instructions yeah, wise and eloquent elo eloquent in their instructions man and like i said lord will we those men all right all right we can we can gladly say that we took the we took the took the uh the bull by the horns all right and doing the work now because who's doing it ain't nobody else doing this work man but the men of the lord all right week in week out all right, pushing his work. All right, uh, what I was gonna do? In Revelation 14. Yeah, that's another one. Oh, okay, I, I remember. This is uh, this is uh, First Corinthians 9 and 25. It says, "And every man, let me get 24." It says, "Know ye not that, know ye not that they which run a race run it all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that strive it for the mastery." It's tempered in all things, and since now they now they do it to obtain a corrupt a corruptible crown, but we but we uh, an an incorruptible crown. All right, and that's what we said over there in the last lesson, man. That a true king doesn't chase all right women. He doesn't chase uh, various different things, but he chase he chases the crown, man. Chase the glory, his yeah, glory. the glory, man. Yeah, and ultimately that's what we want. Our glory is is set forth in a place. Of our homeland, the kingdom, mm -hmm. all right, and that's where we're gonna get all the glory and praise that we want, man. All right, if we do this, if we put our all into this, all our might into the truth, man. Hey, we've got a perfect example with our forefathers. They did their mighty works to the to the end of their strength and their times, and we're reading about their, you know, we're reading about their acts and their glory right now. Right. If we do the same, you know, our names are gonna endure in the kingdom. I got you. Have been that incorruptible crown. Yeah, go ahead. This is Zephaniah 3, verse 19 and 20. It says, Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halted, and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Yeah. At that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. Yeah, man. And that's going to happen what? Ultimately in the kingdom of heaven, man. Because oh, we, we right? made a shame right now. Yeah. We yep. look low. They driving the cars and drive slow and they laugh. No. Take their phones out. Oh, look at those guys. Look what they're doing. They don't even know what we're doing, yeah, man. what we're doing. But they just, you know, everybody thinks every damn thing funny, man. All right? I'll get that and we'll end it on that. Out. That 14? Yeah. This is Revelation 14, verse 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say the Spirit, that they might rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. And their works do follow us, mm -hmm. man. And Lord will, you know, Lord will we able to we able to transition from, you know, this life without without tasting death into the kingdom. But if if so, what happens? Our works gonna follow us, man. All right, we're gonna be rewarded for all all the all the work that we put in, man. 
from the from the least to the big the least things to the to the big major things, man. And it's true. So it is what it is, man. Hey, but we must go hard. All right? We must put our all in. Go ahead. Hey, the process leads to the prize. Right. The process, you you glorify, you know. That's a good point. You glorify through the process. Like all these, you know, you see the end product with these celebrities and these great men out here. But then when you inquire in them and look at the struggles and the hardships they made, that makes their end story that much more impressive. Right. So with that, man, we hope. All right, this lesson was edifying to the point. We'll give all praise, glory, and fiance. How well by, by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem. Once again, double honors to the elders, apostles of GMS. Peace and blessings and salutation to the hopeful elect. Until next time, Shalom. 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 Shalom.